Thanos. Thanos. I loved Infinity War. I saw it twice. I've seen it twice in three days. This video is going to contain spoilers throughout. So if you haven't seen it, click away. Click away. But don't worry because this video is going to live on YouTube forever so we can talk later but you should watch the movie first. For everyone who has already seen it, let's get started on this cake. Now if you are still here, congratulations you saw Infinity War already. Now first let's talk about all those people that had to click away. I mean you haven't seen it yet, it's just... It's irresponsible. I'm glad that they had the willpower to click away though, because if it was me, I would have just like watched the entire video and then wrote a mean comment about how this guy spoiled the whole movie for me. <laughs> now to create this bake cake, I started with a drawing. Now I'm not even really sure why I made him a bake cake because he's not bay. Now I decided to do Thanos with all of his armor because I thought it looked cooler than that like t-shirt and pants combination that he's wearing throughout the entire movie. But I get it because he doesn't need the armor anymore because he has all of the infinity stones and I think he looks pretty cool with all the armor. And he's got that cute face, that cute hideous ugly adorable face. Now for this cake I'm using a vanilla cake that I dyed purple because Thanos is purple. Except he's not this kind of purple. He's more of like a dying uh, robbed of vibrant kind of purple. Somewhere between like an evening in Paris and a lavender sky. I think that's where Thanos falls. Now you've seen this footage before. I used it for the Black Panther bake cake. And if you want to watch that video, it's in the description box as well as here in the cards. Why did why did he die also? That guy killed all my friends. Now all my bay cakes go through the exact same process. I place the template on top, cut it out using my sidekick meatball, add some buttercream into the middle, and then put on the second layer. This is a really cool process, very calming. Now a lot of you have commented that I over mix my cake batter and that's why there's like huge holes. <laughs> and you're totally right. Yeah, there's been like times where like I turn on the mixer and then I turn on the TV and I watch an entire episode of something while the mixer's going. <laughs> I like turned on the mixer and then I was watching Friends and it was the episode where Ross and Rachel were arguing in the apartment and everyone was in like the bedroom and they were all trying to listen through the door. <laughs> and after the, the show ended, I was like, oh, I forgot I was mixing this cake. <laughs> I also like turned it on once and then I played an entire game of StarCraft, which was like an hour and a half. And I couldn't just stop in the middle of my StarCraft game. So I was like, if if it gets a little dry, I'll just add a little more water. <laughs> That's why I always emphasize that I'm a cake decorator and not a baker because I I'm a terrible baker. <laughs> now I leveled off my cake, added some buttercream, and then I covered my entire cake with a large piece of purple fondant. Now I wanted him to be darker than the movie Thanos, so I, this is like a, just a fairy tale. I think that's really pretty. I could see a wall covered in just a fairy tale. Could be overwhelming as well. I just used my hands and some sculpting tools to work the fondant all the way around the cake. Now I created all of his chin detail and I think that in the comic books this looks really cartoonish but the way that they translated it onto Josh Brolin's like face it looks really cool. Speaking of Josh Brolin I think he did a really good job but again he killed all my friends so screw that guy. Get it like he killed my green friend, he killed my tree friend, killed my boyfriend. So many friends. <laughs> now let's create some of his armor. Now I layered a ton of fondant to create all of his armor. I built this like I was building a Thanos toy. I just wanted to make sure that there was depth in the armor and that all of the details on the pieces popped out the way it would be if the character were actually wearing it. So underneath is black and I gave him this huge chest. This chest is huge. Is it what you're benching? I don't know. It could all be steroids too. That guy's so big. For all of my mustard, like yellow gold pieces, I let my fondant sit out for about two hours just so I could get these nice clean edges. That way it'll look as fantastic as it does at the beginning of the movie. Cause at the beginning he just like, he takes it off and then he kills my friend Loki. Who's a tricky friend? That guy's pretty shady, but I still like him. Then he kills Idris Elba. 
I don't even remember that guy's name, but I love you, Jisalba. That was the first time I jumped in the theater, and I jumped so many times, but I couldn't believe that they were killing off characters that we knew so early on in the movie. They killed all my friends, you guys. <laughs> but it did help me understand how terrible Thanos actually is. And when I was creating Arm for his helmet, I used a lot of layers of fondant. And you can probably create this without as many layers, but I wanted... I don't know. I wasn't thinking about the cake at this point. I was just thinking about making an awesome helmet. Now the biggest jump for me in the theaters was when the Guardians of the Galaxy were trying to get the Reality Stone and then Drax and Mantis died. I couldn't, I was like pushing the people around me like, who can, what is going on? I was thankful it was just a trick of the Reality Stone, but then they died in the end anyways. It didn't even matter. And because there were so many superheroes in the movie, I think that Nebula, Gamora, and Thanos got shortchanged. I think they did a good job focusing on everyone, but I would have loved to see the dynamic that Gamora and Nebula had with their father Thanos. Because he raised those two for like 20 years, and the hatred for them was really deep, but because of the way Gamora was crying when she tried to kill him, I'm curious about how deep the love was. So Thanos believed that if he killed off half of the universal population that the places that those creatures or people or whatever inhabited, they would all become paradise-like because there would be enough resources and minerals and whatever, food, bellies would be full, and people would just have plenty of everything, right? So he snapped his fingers and he killed half of the people. But with all of that power, couldn't he just snap his fingers and create more planets and more resources so that all of my friends could live in paradise and instead of just half of them? I mean, he had trouble on Titan, but that was before he was God. And now he's God. And now we can create planets, but he decided to kill everyone. This movie could have ended differently. That's all I'm saying. And now I'm pissed off because I'm thinking about it too much and I'm not even sure what's possible. But I think that when the Big Bang happened and these stones came into the world to create all of this life, then the person who's wielding them could do the same and make more life for more people to inhabit and all my friends would still be alive. And I could throw this amazing party that had like a, like a beer garden over here and we would just all have these huge red solo cups and there would be like the hard beer but there would also be like that cider which I really like but not everybody likes it. And then Chili's would cater the thing and we just have all of those blooming onions and the lava cake. They have fried pickles now too. And then on this side we would have like the jumper for the kids and the adults because everybody likes the jumper and Winnie the Pooh would be on the top of the jumper because those are my favorite kind of jumpers and there would be like a water park over here so that everyone can get wet and then all for whatever reason somebody brings guacamole and chips and so it's even better <sighs> yeah I just Thanos and voila my cake is finished uh, he looks good just a terrible guy so now I don't really feel like I like this cake anymore. Captain America and Thor and Iron Man are still alive so I guess that's great. Kill my boyfriend though. And if you want to see more Avengers Infinity War content I have cookies, cakes, treats, I've got a whole lot. There's a playlist for you and there's probably gonna be a compilation video later this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys aren't as depressed as I am. I'm curious, what part of the movie made you jump the most? Was it when Iron Man got stabbed? Was it when the Black Panther died? Gosh, I just met that guy. He's such a cool guy and he died. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.